SciNet whitelists all the legitimate processes that are allowed to access the memory location where password hashes are stored. Any other processes are denied. This is one way that SciNet protects your users from credential theft. For example, on this screen, you'll see an example of Mimikatz, a common credential theft tool attempting to scrape password hashes from the computer's memory. This triggered an unauthorized memory access attempt. Here you can see what happened. Mimikatz tried to read from LSAS, where the user account credential hashes are stored. Since Mimikatz isn't one of the defined processes that have been whitelisted to access LSAS, it triggered an alert. Mimikatz asked the operating system for two flags in order to dump the passwords from memory process VM read and process query limited information. However, Sinet denied them access to the first flag and only allowed them access to process query limited information, which they can't do anything with. It doesn't matter whether the attacker uses an obfuscated version of Mimikatz or customizes a unique password scraping tool. Sinet doesn't allow any unauthorized process to access the memory location where the password hashes are stored. Sinet prevents the attack from taking place in addition to alerting you when it happens.